Although, you got to say, I mean, he hasn't been in that long. He went in, he was like a young, he looked like, like Will Smith or something. He was like Morgan fucking Freeman. <laughs> a lot of shit on the guy's head. Anyway, um, but, but really it's just a song about the media uh, messing with it. By the way, anybody here work for Fox or uh, have an <laughs> I only bring it up because your souls are going to burn in hell for you. Anyway, I anyway, want to take that home with you. Show <laughs> When I temper temper, little cloud, thought we was in this together. I got another 30 miles to go. You change your mind like the weather. But I know how you feel, oh, with that blinding lightning flash. I'm all alone now, but I got my guitar. Let's think about some stuff we can do. Smash. Well, I slept last night by the side of the road. I was thinking about the nearest phone. I was wondering if she would accept the charges. I was wondering if I had a banana or a backbone. Then I had a dream about Count Basie, but he didn't want to talk to me. He had a lot of hurt in his face and he had a copy of Life magazine. Had Elvis on the cover and had an article inside, did not say who it was written by. Closer inspection, I noticed that Albert Goldman was still writing and Life wouldn't let him die. Turned around, he walked away. I said, Oh man, that's Count Basie's like my hero. We got hung out. I had so many questions. There were so many things that I wanted to say. But after 10 glossy pages of Big Life magazine format, people with guns, knives, smoking crack, I stepped back from that magazine. My mouth flew open because all those people were black. I used to work at a bar in Syracuse, New York. We had what we jokingly referred to as an incident most every night. There was drug sales, there was guns, there was people fighting. All those people were white. True story, I pulled a pregnant girl out of the bathroom one time. She was in there over an hour. People were complaining and she was smoking crack. And she was white as stem. And she was white as blood. And she was most definitely not black. And I think Count Basie was just trying to point out that if I wasn't careful, I might fall in a trap. Because take a look at that magazine of mine and ask her what, but it appears to me someone's getting a bad, bad, bad rap. Page 36 and 37, there was a Sony ad, it was a white family, they were hanging out by the swimming pool, couldn't see the mother, just a reflection in the water, she was holding the video camera, what color was she? Well, let's not be a fool. So there we go, and as big as life, and Cal Basie, he don't want to talk to me. Miles Davis never rang my phone off the hook, and I'm not anticipating any phone calls from Spike Lee. <laughs> Roger Manning says something about hatred. And being any color, and being not, as I look around this whole big world, not just this room here tonight, or any room in this building, or any building on this street, or any street in this city, or any city in this state, or any state in this country, or any country in this whole big world, it's blue, baby blue, that's the color we all got. When I tamper, tamper, little cloud, thought we'd been this together. I got another 30 miles to go, and you change your mind like the weather. But I know how you feel, go with that blinding lightning flash. I'm all old now, but I got my guitar. Let's take about some stuff we can smash. Let's take us some stuff.